going to think that if you're going to get paid $250,000 for a speech, it must be a brilliant speech. It must be an earth-shattering speech written in Shakespearean prose. speech is so great, I think the American people have the right to hear it. Whoa. Um, Mika, what a massive crowd in New York City last night. Something that Hillary Clinton's going to have to get used to seeing over the next two weeks as we move towards the New York primary. And he's going there in a big way uh, on the issue of those speeches. Bernie Sanders addressed an audience of between 18 and 19,000 wow. people. Who gets that crowd? The, the Knicks used Bernie to get Sanders. it years would ago. Would Donald Trump get that crowd? That would you know, fill Madison yeah, Square Garden. Trump, Trump, I don't know. Trump can get that crowd. He can he's get got, a crowd. He's got 18 or 19,000? Yes, he's got We'll it. have to ask Donald. Line stretch around You're the park where the event took place hours before Sanders. Bernie Sanders, senator from Vermont, 74 years old, talks like Larry David. Democratic I'm just socialist. saying, okay? Democratic socialist. Democratic not socialist. Not even a member of the Look party. at that everybody and tell me what's going on. I understand Hillary Clinton has a lock on this, but what is going on here? Uh, before he addressed the main audience, he spoke briefly to You're an overflow crowd. You're being sarcastic when you say you understand she has a lock on this. Well, no, everyone tells me that she does, and the numbers seem to say she'll say it. She's well, got a lock on it. It's not, it, it's not a lock yet. But I'm let's not go, being let's sarcastic. Let's go back to those crowds. Can we talk about the smart key? I want to show. To this, look at these crowds. It looks like like a, a part of Woodstock. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It smelled like part, Woodstock, too. Yeah. Did, did it smell like Woodstock? I was there Wait, can you there? Did it smell like Woodstock? Excuse me. I was at Woodstock. <laughs> the only person on the set who was at Woodstock. Let's just it smells like I imagined. <laughs> Why don't you guys Much better. <laughs> better said. Really? Young Casey. Oh Man. my gosh. That's amazing. So, are they voters? Are they young people? A lot that of might them are. Show up? This was one of the most diverse crowds I've ever seen Bernie Sanders have. It was still on the younger side, but there were also families. minorities. There were Latinos. A lot of people speaking Spanish. It's the it's the South Bronx. It's New York, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And and I mean, and they were obviously thrilled to see him. People waited four hours. They couldn't figure out. The Sanders campaign was very frustrated the cops wouldn't let the the thousands of people they said they were going to let into the main park so you had this baseball field full so, of people i've been out of pocket in the south of france uh or uh, aka baltimore um and i've been hearing about the clinton campaign talking about sanders tone and kind of really you you can tell that they're feeling defensive and now i see why now i see why because i don't know what he's attacking on except the issues. Is well, there some personal story no. that he's going after? Is he no, tweeting there, something? there's not. And they were actually called out by that oh. when they got on the air well, and started talking about his tone. It's a joke. It, it, his tone does not even approach the tone in the Republican Party. In fact, usually the complaints are about issues. I'm sure they won't like the quote tone, Mike Barnacle, of Bernie Sanders talking about uh, Wall Street speeches and making that much money, it must have been a very good speech. But uh, we talked about this yesterday. Uh, many people believe on, in both sides that she's going to get uh, beaten in Wisconsin, possibly handily, and then wow. she's going to have to endure a couple of weeks of that bad press and a, a really bad New York media. And big uh, rallies. And, 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 and huge rallies across New but York. But she'll win. Well, it's not, uh, you'd have to back me up on this. I don't think it's the tone of Bernie Sanders' campaign and his rhetoric that is uh, aggravating the Clinton people, and especially former Secretary Clinton. It's the fact that her leads have collapsed in state after state after state. This is her home state. This is where she was elected to the United States Senate. She began her presidential campaign with a nearly 50-point lead over yep. Bernie Sanders. It is now down to about 12 and perhaps shrinking internally. We don't know. But so it's, frust it's her frustration, the campaign's frustration, in dealing with a 74-year-old 
democratic socialists from Burlington, Vermont, that they can't put away. Well, in, in some ways, it's clear that it's she's lucky that there are all of those ticks against Bernie Sanders. That he he can't make the argument that she's trying to make. Hey, I'm I'm a historic candidate. I'm you know the first potentially the first woman president. I mean, this is somebody who I'm we treated as the establishment in the beginning, right? Yeah. Right, and right. and he's come you know quite far. I think it, it tells you so much about the mood in the country. And yeah. I, I, it's I, real. I've gone is to what so many of these you. rallies to a certain extent. You get inured to these thousands of people showing up day after day after day. You walk into mm -hmm. three rallies a day and it mm -hmm. feels the same. It's thousands of people everywhere. But somehow, you know, people who don't do that miss that that is where all of the energy is. Which, by, by the way, there's just no way Hillary Clinton can draw those type of crowds. She never draws those type of crowds. She never comes even close. I, I, and it I, I, may I, not The Sanders matter? crowds are, are also interesting. And again, I refer it to you. You've seen more of them than I have. But there's a, there's almost a joyousness. There is. In the People are excited. Yeah. That's yeah. that's an, and the uh, response to some of the issues yeah. that yeah. he's talking about. Like Trump gets response, you know, to funny things and this and that. He, people go crazy when he talks about Wall Street or the speeches or this and that. There is like a real mood and a connection, an intellectual connection with what he's saying. So you yeah. wouldn't know because we haven't introduced well, everyone because I, I haven't say, had a chance. Let, let's bring in because of me. John